Right, and we are live. Hey, everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm Stuart from NetReady, and this is MLM for CEOs, the channel that is aimed at providing key insights to decision makers operating within this lucrative, lucrative multi-level marketing space. In today's episode, we're speaking about the seven key skills that you need to be teaching your people in order for them to becoming network marketing pros. We're going to reference Eric Wari's book, Network Marketing Pro or GoPro, um, throughout the whole of this episode. Uh, and it's a book that we definitely recommend that you and your network uh, read up on. I'm joined here to unpack all this information is a man who's an authority within the multi-level marketing space. He's over 35 years experience. Last episode, I gave him 40 years. So I'm going to remove those five years. <laughs> Thank <Sorry> you. About, <laughs> okay. Um, he's a good friend and mentor of mine, Mr. Richard Sletcher. Ah, How's thank it going? Thank you for having me. Huh? See you. Yeah. Friend and mentor. Yeah, nice. Teaching me every single day as my friend. Wow. It's a pleasure. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's been, been amazing. Oh, it's been an awesome, mm. awesome journey. So today we're going to be talking about the seven skills that you need in order to grow a powerful network marketing business. Exactly. And again, we're talking to company owners, but this is stuff they should be t teaching their, their network. Right. So kick off. What is the first one? Well, just before I get started, the, the reason why network marketing is, is such a exceptional business for network marketers to be in is they're not bound by their hours in eight to five. They don't have um, a, a boss that is saying, that is holding them to, to goals and, um, and to specific timelines or when project needs to be done. Um, but they can also, they don't have an alarm clock. So they wake up when they're ready. So just to set the tone there, network marketing is, is a lucrative um, business and industry, not only for the company owners, but also for the network marketers, if they do this right. Exactly. Okay. So these seven skills that company owners you out there are needing to promote for the people. This this comes into training, setting the expectation for the people. So I want to go into those those seven skills now. And the first one is finding people to talk to. Who do I talk to? That's always a big problem, and that's the, the one of the places. I and mean, we spoke last week about this briefly, and I think sure. a couple of weeks ago we yes. also spoke about it. Is it's simple to find people to talk to, but guys really do battle with it. Hey? Do you think it's a fear thing? I, I, th I think there's two things. I think it's a, a fear and knowing what to say. Mm -hmm. Because if you know what to say and you can get over the fear, then you, there's no limit to the number of people no you barrier. can talk to. Right. There's no barrier. And there's so many places that you can find these prospects. You know? Well, where are the prospects? It's, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you go to a restaurant, you speak to the waiter, you've had an exceptional experience with them, and you think they'd be perfect for the business. So, waiting staff, you go to an Uber ride into town, and you've had an amazing experience there, and the person's been fun, they've interacted with you nicely, you think that'd be perfect for the business. Uh, you go into your clubs and your societies, um, different sports groups, et cetera, et cetera. There are so many places, if you are attentive to and open and um, aware of your surroundings, that anyone can be a prospect. Well, do you remember when we were doing the training, the Dream Team training? Yes. We actually trained our guys how to get leads and how to speak to people. We then sent them out into the shopping center. Mm. And we said the first person that comes back with, how many leads was it? Five. Uh, five leads. Five leads. Yes gets wins the almighty bar one and what's a lead name surname email mobile yes okay. and permission to call them sure okay the one lady was back in under two minutes she got five names in under two minutes everybody mm. everybody we sent out excepting one person yes came back with all five names the one person who didn't come back with a name what was her problem she was dead scared to speak to people yeah she was absolutely terrified to speak to people so she spoke to nobody and she came back with no names. Mm. And I mean, she was gutted. Sure. Shame. She felt really. But if somebody had gone out with her there and mm. actually helped her, I think we could have got her over the fear. I think so too. So as you said, the two things, the fear and, and knowing what to say. Of course. And knowing what to say is something that the company owners need to provide for their people. Because when they practice it, they go through it, they sit with their people, they get the confidence to go out. And when you've got the confidence and no fear to speak to as many people as possible, that's how you build this whole prospect list of yours. And you never run out of people to talk to. So now, if you've got a great product, got a great compensation plan, mm -hmm. and you teach your people what to say and go out with them so that they know what to say and they get over the fear factor, you literally have no limit 
the limit is the number of people in the country. There's no limit to the number of people you can talk to. Right. And you sometimes know? not only in the country. Yeah, well, in some companies it's international, <laughs> so you can connect with people online. You can connect with people via um, LinkedIn or mm. via Facebook or via the social medias. But the easiest way is just every time you see somebody, pitch them. Right. And okay. if you know what to say and it's simple and it's quick, why wouldn't you do it? Of course. So the next that leads us into the second skill, which is inviting the prospects. So inviting them to um, to to view the company tools that our company owners have created for our network. Yes. And we know we've, we we did an episode. I think it was last week or the week before on this. How important it is to create the perfect tools to help your people convert their their prospects into becoming RBOs themselves. Exactly. Or customers. Yeah. So I mean, the. The whole introduction, the, the talking to your leads, uh, 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 plays directly into the tools because mm. you want it to be quick. If I'm going to speak to a thousand people, I can't spend five hours with each person. I'll never get through it. Right. So it's got to be like a one minute pitch. Yes. To get the person engaged. So you go for the one minute pitch. Your turn. Okay. Are we going to do this? Yeah. Go for it. Okay. So I've just you my Uber driver. Thank you so much for yes. this. You've done what an amazing awesome. Uber driver I am. Okay, I can see why you got five stars. Exactly. Okay. So I'm going to get out as I'm getting out the car. I'm in a hurry. Hey, Richard. Um, listen, I'm in a hurry. I have to just quickly get to this meeting you've just dropped me at. Uh, I just want to say that was exceptional service. The conversation flowed so nicely. Um, it was really good. I had a good interaction with you. Um, I, I don't have a lot of time. Uh, I've just started this company and it is incredible and I think that you'd be perfect for it. If I send you a quick link, it's a video link, it's about a minute. If I send you a link on this opportunity, would you watch it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, fantastic. Um, when do you think you'll be able to watch it by? Well, if you send it to me now, I'll watch it in between while I'm waiting for my next fare. Okay, brilliant. Um, so if I call you later this afternoon, you would have watched it for sure? Absolutely. Okay, lovely stuff. Uh, what time are you available this afternoon? Look, I mean, any time after 3 o'clock, because I'm knocking off today at 3 o'clock, so any time after 3 would be good. Okay, fantastic. Well, I'm available at 3 o'clock this afternoon, so I'm going to give you a call. Let me just flick you the link. Uh, what is your number? Uh, 08 bloody 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 blah, 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 blah. Okay, there you go. I've just sent it to you. Thank you so much once again. I look forward to you chatting to you at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Now, how long Cheers. did that take? About 30 seconds. Yeah, so maybe it took a minute if okay. you're really pushing it. Okay? Yes. But now what have you done? You've told me that you've started a business. You've given me some kudos. You told me I'm an amazing guy. Mm -hmm. You said to me, "What I, can I send you a link? I've said to you, yes, send me a link. You've asked me when I can watch the link. You're not telling me when to watch it. You're asking me when can I watch the link. I tell you when I'm going to watch the link. Mm -hmm. You then asked me, so if I called you back at such and such a time, you'd have watched it for sure. I confirmed that I would have watched it for sure. You said, fantastic. Let me send you the link. What's your number? I give you my number, you send me the link. Awesome. So I'm going to call you at such and such a time. Looking forward to it. Nice chatting with you. You're out of there. Now what happens is all of the company tools kick in, mm -hmm. the video, whatever, and they build that relationship. Now we might have to have 10 interactions before I sign up. Mm -hmm. But that for first interaction, now I now watch the video. I understand what's going on. You're going to call me back. We're going to set the net next interaction because... That's not the last interaction we sure. have. You might have to connect with me five or 10 times before I'm on board. And every time you connect with me, it's about setting up the next next interaction or the next connection. And so that's why one in, in Dream Team, we call our people connectors. It's right. because we are reconnecting with that person over and over again until they sign up. Mm -hmm. But the beauty of what you've just done there is it's so fast. Mm. And you can prospect on demand. Exactly. Any time, any situation that you're in, someone could be a potential prospect. Every time you turn need a lead, you just turn that tap on yeah. and you got 20 leads. Right. And you could do it via LinkedIn. Sure. You could have the same thing. Hey, I don't have a lot of time to talk now. Yeah. But, and you could go through the same process on LinkedIn. You could do it via WhatsApp. You could do it on SMS. You can do it via the phone. Mm -hmm. There's a thousand ways you can connect with people using that exact same process. Right. So that takes us into our next skill, which is presenting the, the product or business opportunity. That link that I sent you, it outlines the, the business so that they're aware of what's, what's going on and the, maybe the earnings, but also the products that are being advertised. And then when I follow up with you at three o'clock in the afternoon, I say, hey, Richard, um, what did you like best? Yeah, so I like the product or I like the opportunity. Or I like the fact that I can go on a holiday to wherever. Exactly. So it pitches which of the of the main drivers 
mm-hmm. I'm going with, and yes. then you can follow up with that. Exactly. So let's just say it was the product that you liked. Fantastic. I don't know. Well, I don't have someone coming on as an IBO of mine, my team, but I have a customer that I can speak to. Hey, Richard, um, do you have time to sit uh, and I can just present these products in front of you? You can see it. You can touch them. You can feel them. And then we go yeah. through a product And you might say something like, listen, the products are really amazing. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you want to take a look at them, don't you? Yes, I do. You, excellent. When would you be available to have a cup of coffee with me at the local coffee shop? Saturday. Saturday, fantastic. What time would be good for you? 10 o'clock is perfect. Excellent. Let's do 10 o'clock Saturday at coffee shop name, Mm -hmm. and I'll bring the products along. You can take a look at them. I'm really excited to look. Now, how long did that take? Right. Also another minute. Now, understand the person's interested in the product. That doesn't mean they're not interested in the business Mm -hmm. because it might just be the product that drives them. You could share this product with 10 people, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. This is an amazing product. eh? You can see your friends using this product, can't you? And the person says, yes, you say, fantastic, because if you're part of this business, you just need to show these amazing products to your friends. They're going to buy it, and you're going to make money. How mm. cool does that sound? Sounds great. Exactly. You got me doing the naughty effect yeah. there. So, just... so the issue is that you can easily get a person involved if they're interested in the business, mm. if they're interested in the product. Mm-hmm. If they're interested in recognition, you can get them involved because, hey, I want you to be one of our superstars. I'd like to walk across the stage with you. You're up for that. Yes, I am. Fantastic. Let's get going. Mm. person's interested in the social you know we've got this big social outreach i'd love you to be part of my team coming to the social outreach and obviously you can make some money in the process mm-hmm. how cool is that yeah. yes it's cool let's get going so sure. it doesn't matter what's driving them you still got a way of getting them into the business mm-hmm. but as you say they might just be a customer and that's fine that's fine you yep. know if if, the, if that's what they become brilliant mm. you need customers mm. we know that customers I, I think the industry stats on average is about 20 percent of your customers already referring and recommending these products and go, well, I should be joining this business anyway so exactly. I can generate an income. 100%. So customers is not a bad thing. You're no. selling products so we have a business, but 20% of those people, one and in every it, five, convert. And if you convert a customer to a oh, business IBO, wow. they are the best IBOs on the yeah. planet because yeah. they love the product mm. and now they cross over. Mm. The guys who just come in from the money, we discussed this right. in one of the previous weeks, the guys who come in just for the money, you tend to lose them because they'll bounce from opportunity to opportunity. Mm. But the guys who come in for the product or for recognition of incentives, and if your company's got great incentives, recognition, and products, those guys tend to stick. Yeah, the ultimate believers. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Okay. Um, and the next thing I want to talk about is following up with the prospects. Okay. So, you know, we talked about being connectors and setting up the next connection. On average, we're speaking about averages quite a bit here, but on average, between six and 12 connections to convert someone to become an RBO yeah. into, your, into your network. Yes. It's a lot. It's a lot of effort that you have to go through. Yeah. But if you remember last week, we talked about um, you're building a business. Mm-hmm. And if you want to build a real business, then you have to have 10 people who absolutely um, fire on all cylinders, mm. who you've trained up, who are in management positions, mm-hmm. who are senior in the business, who've got the right ranks, et cetera. So it is absolutely worth it to follow up six or 10, 12 times to get those kind of people. And so, you know, when I came through the, the ranks as a salesperson, I always talked about this sell first time selling, first time selling. Mm. We were selling vacuum cleaners. Mm. And we talked about the fact that if you have to follow up, you're expending too much energy on that. It's better to just do a first time sell. Wow. And what we did there is we had very aggressive selling techniques. We'd go in there, we'd We'd close hard, we'd close often, we'd get the sale, we'd be out of there, the person would own the product, we'd move on to the next client. In multi-level marketing, you cannot do that. If you do that, you're going to have churn because you're going to force the people into the business and you're going to lose them. Mm. What you need to do is you need to ease them into the business and that takes continual connections. You need to connect with them over and over and over again until you get to a point where they are so comfortable with the business that they are eased into it and it's a natural progression. And so you don't want to be hard selling people. You want to be easing them into the business. So that's why the follow-up is so important. And every time you follow up, what you need to do is you need to set the next follow-up date. Sure. The only reason to follow up is to get the next follow-up. Right. You must never, ever leave the thing, the, the, the presentation or the connection without establishing your next appointment. Mm-hmm. So that follow-up that's is powerful. Hell out of, very, very important. And again... I have to specify here or, or encourage people to read the GoPro book by Eric Warre. It 
kind of goes into detail about this stuff. Pretty phenomenal. Yeah. Okay. Um, it also helps you find who are the right people for your network. Yeah. Because that's what you're looking for. You're not yeah. just looking to build a massive network of people that will be fly by nights. You want the right people, especially those ones sitting in the management positions. And you want to work with them. Oh. And, and, and as I say, 10 yeah. top management yeah. in your business, you have a business that you can take your hands off and that will run forever. Yeah. Okay, let's go into skill number five, which is helping prospects become customers or distributors. Let's focus on the distributors. Now, when when someone joins the business and or is, is near to joining the business, there's there's four key questions or three key questions followed. Uh, you're talking about the clothes. <laughs> you know? Okay, let's hear them. Come on. Okay, you ready for it? I'm ready for okay. it. Richard, I would love to have you join this business and I can see that you're so interested. Um, it would be an amazing partnership that we're going to have together. Um, Richard, we're going to set the expectation here. How much money are you wanting to make from joining this business? Well, to be honest with you, if I could earn $1,000 a month, I would be happy. Okay. Thousand dollars, just okay. part time. I'm obviously just thousand dollars a month. Yeah. Okay, definitely achievable in this space. I mean, guys are making a fortune in here, but that's that's a realistic figure for now. Um, so I've I've got another question for you. How much time are you prepared to dedicate to this business uh, each and every week? Well, look, I would be happy to put in say uh, probably six to ten hours a week. A week. Yeah, okay, a week. fantastic. Uh, it's still very achievable. Um, and putting that effort in, how long would you be prepared to work for to get to that $1,000 a month? Um, how long? Pay? How, how many months? Oh, how many months? So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How many months are you prepared to put in that work? Well, I'd definitely to to? put in six months to, to see if this thing works. Okay. Everything you said there, those goals that you've set are very realistic. So if I can show you how to make a thousand dollars a month by putting in 67 hours a week working at it for a six month period you'd be in this business right no absolutely okay fantastic we have a deal okay so that's that's the clue <laughs> did you just click my hand i think that was my hand i'm not too sure <laughs> <Something clicked. laughs> a vicious handshake there. <laughs> that was too much, too much jimming on your side <laughs> so that's the close to helping people become distributors within the business and I think it's a very powerful close because what's happened? I've asked you the questions and you've set the goals. You've yeah. set your own expectations and you've told me how long you, you're going to work, how many hours in that week, how long you prepared to work for in order to achieve those goals. And it's exactly. a realistic goal. Now understand that closing is the reason why most people fail. They can't close mm -hmm. because they're so nervous to ask for the, the, ask for the, the order, yeah. so to say, yeah. that they just don't ask and then people don't join. So closing is a huge part of this business. And what you've just pointed out is those four steps. Number one, you're asking them, how much money do you want to earn? If you tell a person you can earn 20,000 rand a month and they don't believe it, you, you've lost them. Whereas if you ask them how much money you'd want to earn, they're going to give you back a number. Then you say to them, okay, how many hours a week are you prepared to put in? If it's unrealistic, you need to tell them, listen, you cannot earn $100,000 a month working one hour a week. Sorry, it's not sure. going to happen. Yeah. And you either have to adjust their, their um, expectations or flush them, one of the two. Then you're saying to them, okay, how many months are you prepared to give me? They say six months. You say, fantastic. So if I can show you how to earn $1,000 a month working six to seven hours a week over the next six months, you would be in, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. And they are going to say, absolutely. Yeah. And then you're going to shake their hand and say, right, let's get you going now. You're going to get your laptop out or your cell phone out and you're going to register them. Mm -hmm. And that close is simple. Oh, so simple. And you can teach anybody to do that. Yeah. And there's no fear in it because you are not saying to me, so do you want to do this? Mm. You're not saying that because that is so a hard thing. Because Do you want to do wow. this? Well, I'll think about it. It's the answer to that. Yes. And they'll think about it and yeah. you've lost them. So that is, I think that's the magic where there. It's, it's a simple process. You go through it. The people are going to say yay or nay at the mm -hmm. end. They're either going to have realistic expectations which you can work with or not. Mm. And if they don't have it, they're gone. Mm. If they do have it, you need to close them, get them into the business straight away. Okay. We've got Next. two more skills to go through. Um, and 53 and seconds to do it. No, we, we're good. We're good. I guess hel helping your distributor get started. I mean, it's all about validating. You begin by validating their decision. They've joined the business. Hey, Richard, what a great great decision that you've just made yeah, i think you're going to be amazing in this business and that's that's the first thing because everyone needs that validation for the decisions that they make exactly. in life not only in network marketing right exactly okay so um we also have to set the expectations we, you say well you've set the goals for yourself we need to aim to hit those what is our plan of action let's set goals for one another 
Yes. Okay. But then you also need to make that person um, independent as quickly as possible. Yeah. And this is this is one of the, the the key things that we keep promoting through all of our training, is that just because I've brought you into the business doesn't mean that I'm going to hold your hand throughout. You need to be the one that becomes as independent as quickly as possible. Exactly. So what you'd say to the person mm -hmm. is, so Stuart, I think you've made a brilliant decision getting into business and you and I are going to work together on this. But you must admit that if you succeed or you fail, that's going to be up to you. Can yes. we agree on that? Yes, we can. Okay. So I'm responsible to help you, but I'm not responsible to do it for you. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to do it yourself. Can we agree on that? Yes. And my primary goal is going to be to get you independent as quickly as is humanly possible. Would you agree that that's a good goal? Yes. Great goal. So, so now what we're doing is we're setting your expectations. So we're now in a position where you know that it's up to you to make it succeed. I'm here to help you but not do it for you. My goal is to get you independent as, as quickly as possible. That is a good goal. Mm. Excellent. And I'm going to actually measure what's happening with you, work with you to get you up and up and running fast, but you're going to be doing it. So that's what I love about oh, that whole process. So strong, that. And now I've set the right expectation. You can't say to me, it didn't work because you didn't work with mm. me. It didn't work because you didn't take me out. It didn't work because whatever, it's me. I'm the one who's got to work. Right. I've heard so many networkers out there saying, oh, I failed because my sponsor didn't support. My upline wasn't there to support me throughout every step well, of the oh, process. I want a different upline because he's useless or yes. she's useless. Yeah. You need to become independent. Yeah. You obviously, your, your hand needs to be held in the early stages, but you need to become as independent as quickly as possible. Learn about the business. Learn about the products. Learn about the things that, that make your business tick so that you don't have to rely on the people above you. And if your people have got the attitude that it's about them and they prepare to put in the effort, then they will succeed because they know who's responsible for their success or failure. Right. They can't point a finger at anybody else. They're the ones responsible for the success or failure. And the beauty is if you create the right expectation, they don't badmouth the business when they fail mm. because they know from up front that they're responsible for it. Okay. So let's go into the final skill, which is promoting events. Now, in Eric Worre's uh, GoPro book, he's, he, he has a, a beautiful story where um, uh, one of the distributors stood next to one of the big leaders within the network and asked him, well, what is the secret? And what he responded was, the secret is to be the most successful person in this business is to outlast the other people through coming to events. Yeah. And that is so powerful. Well, there's two things there. Obviously, the company has to have events. Right, yes. And we've talked about this before, that this is a belly-to-belly -belly business. The social side of your business is so important. The events is so important. So you have to actually have events and get your people to those events. And the guys who come to the events the most mm -hmm. are the ones long-term who will succeed. Ah, oh, okay. Richard, we're going to nip it there. It's a nip and a tuck. <laughs> so those, those seven skills, I think they are so important for company owners out there. This is what you should be training your network to do. Exactly. Okay. Absolutely, exactly. Thank you for your time. Ah. Guys out there, thank you for your time. We thoroughly enjoyed having you here for this live event. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for joining us. Please uh, hit the subscribe button uh, and the bell so that each time we upload new content, you get notifications and you won't miss any of our MLM for CEOs content on the NetReady platform. We've also got our LinkedIn as well as our Facebook page. And if you're sitting in the car, listen to us on Spotify. Thank you so much for your time. See you next episode. Cheers.